Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In this lecture video, we are going to learn the transfer function basics. How we can find the transfer function of a given block diagram. But for this, we will first need to simplify the given block diagram. Here we will find the transfer function. We know that the transfer function is CS by RS. Here CS is the output and RS is the input side. So CS by RS is our aim to find the transfer function of this given block diagram so here we will learn how we can reduce this block diagram into a simple uh, format simple form then it would be easy to find the cs by rs that is the transfer function in next videos uh, I will also show you more such problems where we will find the transfer function and will also reduce the given block diagram more complex block diagrams than this one for this if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel for getting more such videos on this topic and also on other engineering topics here we will solve this problem using two methods as you can see this is a feedback there is a feedback in this block diagram so we will use a standard formula that is the feedback formula to reduce this block diagram having feedback and we will also use general uh, rules for solving and reducing the block diagram. So it will be discussed in two ways, method one and method two. So first start with the direct feedback formula. Here is the method one you can see here. Uh, by this uh, we will use this feedback formula. This feedback formula is given by this. Here you see this is the RS is the input and uh, CS is the output and this HS is in the feedback path and gs is in the forward path okay if i want to find the cs divided by rs which is the transfer function we can represent this uh, transfer function by ts t stands for transfer function so it will be given as gs divided by 1 minus plus gs into hs just learn this format how we used the terms gs and hs it is actually you see here this is a negative feedback okay here it is minus sign so this formula according to this formula if here it is minus then we will use it as here it is plus and minus okay if it is plus then we will use minus and if it is minus it is minus then we will use plus so this sign will be opposite okay if it is only minus here then we will use plus sign okay so it is negative negative feedback so Suppose if it is a negative, negative feedback, then it would be GS divided by 1 plus GS HS. First, we will write this term here and in the denominator, we will write it as 1 opposite to the sign. Okay, if it is minus then plus and if it is plus, then it is minus. Then the multiplication of both of these terms in the feedback and in the forward path. Okay, so this is the standard formula. So to solve this using this uh, standard feedback formula, we will compare this with this our given block diagram. Okay, just uh, rearrange the terms according to this one. See here, here it is H2 and G1. So multiplication of this will take place. So H2 G1 will be the combined term okay a combined gain h2 g1 so i have written here h2 g1 i am just trying to convert this one into this kind of format so that i can use this formula here so at the place of this i have h2 and g1 and at the feedback gain it is g2 okay here in feedback it is g2 and look at this what is at the input end here output is cs and at the input it is rs by h1 because it is multiplied by this gain so it is at this place it is rs by rs into 1 by h1 so it is rs by h1 at this place in, at, at the place of rs okay so ultimately now this is the block diagram that we have converted into that format so according to this formula here it is cs and at this place okay it is rs by h1 okay so output by input is the transfer function we need to find this is equals to i have uh, told you that first we write this one okay h2 into g1 and then one and if it is minus here so since it is negative feedback so i will use plus here okay and multiplication of both of these two 
so h2 h2 g1 into g2 and i will simplify it simply it is h2 g1 can be written as g1 h2 just rearrange these terms multiplication and it is 1 plus h2 g1 g2 g1 g2 h2 okay same as this so it can be written as cs by rs if you uh, find this cs by rs then this h1 will go into the denominator this h1 just solve it just uh, by transferring h1 to this side so cs by rs is g1 h2 divided by h1 1 plus g1 g2 h2 it is very simple now this was the first uh, method of solving this using feedback formula but now i will tell you the general uh, method and we'll get the same result you see here if i want to solve this uh, this uh, feedback uh, block diagram then let's write its equation look here here it is rs divided by h1 okay it is rs by h1 and it is going into this and here you see it is what it is cs so cs gets multiplied i am writing the equation for this so cs this output if it is taking this output then it is cs and cs gets multiplied with g2 and this g2 goes here so here i have at this place i have cs and this multiplied by g2 it has g2 into cs okay at this place it is g2 into cs and from this it is coming rs by h1 so from this side it is look at this from this side it is rs divided by h1 okay and at this place it is negative and i am getting cs into g2 cs into g2 okay at this side and what does this mean it means that it is rs divided by h1 minus okay it is minus so it gets it is a subtraction so rs by h1 minus cs into g2 so let's write it rs by h1 minus cs into g2 so this is what i get at this place okay and again it gets multiplied by h2 into g1 so here it is written h2 g1 so this place is what at this place i have this term okay at this place i have this term okay and this term gets multiplied by h2 into g1 so it is h2 g1 so i have this i have come to this point this output is h2 into this out this output is this whole term okay and now you see in this diagram that it is nothing but cs let's uh, write it again so i have this equation at this point and it is what it is equal to cs so it is what it is equal to cs so this is the equation same equation as this so it is g1 this is cs into g2 okay this cs into g2 at this place and it gets subtracted from rs by h1 because of this uh, uh, operation so rs by h1 minus cs into g2 okay and this is the output at this place okay we got it at this place and it gets multiplied by h2 g1 so h2 g1 or you can also say it as g1 h2 okay and this this whole term uh, we after multiplication by g1 h2 we come at this place and this is what this is nothing but cs so actually this is equal to cs so this is the whole equation the main thing is to write this equation we can just simply solve it by arranging the terms i need to find a cs by rs from this just multiply and transfer the terms from here to here here to there you will get our cs by rs that is the transfer function just see it uh, g1 h2 into rs multiply g1 h2 by these two terms rs by h1 minus cs g2 g1 g2 is equals to cs i think it's not very important thing 
we can uh, divide both sides by rs as i want to find cs by rs so divide both of these sides by rs these two sides so if i divide it by rs so it becomes a cs by rs and we i will get here again as a cs by rs term cs by rs term and this rs gets cancelled divide both sides by rs so you see here these two terms gets cancelled cs by rs cs by rs and i want to find the cs by rs so uh, for this write this this term okay this minus this 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 and g1 h2 h1 take this term to the right side okay this term to the right side it converts to plus sign cs by rs take cs by rs as common okay so i get 1 plus g1 g2 h2 very simple and uh, from this equation cs by rs is this divided by this so g1 h2 divided by h1 divided by this term goes into uh, denominator 1 plus g1 g2 h2 you see here that uh, this expression is the same as the as i got uh, from the direct uh, feedback uh, equation that that is a feedback formula g1 h1 g1 h2 divided by h1 1 plus g1 g2 h2 this is same as this one okay so from both of these methods i got the same result although this was a simpler way to solve this using direct feedback formula so whenever you see this kind of format okay you can simply find the transfer function just first reduce the block diagram to simple simple format like this that i earlier told you try to convert it into this kind of simple feedback and you can simply find uh, the cs by rs by using the this formula okay or you can also use this uh, method like this multiplication and this subtraction and then again multiplication you can form the equation as i uh, discussed now so this was all about uh, finding the transfer function from the given block di diagram by reducing it first hope you liked the video i recommend you to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more such videos we will also uh, upload more uh, this kind of videos in future also so keep watching engineering made easy don't forget to like and share the video if you found it useful informative and liked it so keep watching till then bye see you soon in the next video bye take care Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.